I'm gonna be making a Tremel of Archimedes. You may have seen this before, referred to as a do-nothing machine or an ellipsograph. The machine has two captive shuttles, which move back and forth as a common connecting arm moves in an ellipse or oval pattern. I first start by cutting out two 8x8 eight eight sheets of plywood, one with 3 quarter inch thick ply and the other with half inch. I really should be using a cross-cut sled for this cut, but I haven't built one for my new cell yet. Doing this could result in kickback. I'm now cutting my four corner pieces, which will hold the shuttles captive. I adjusted my saw to a 10 degree angle. This way we can dovetail the shuttles in. I'm cutting the shuttles and handle out of some reclaimed red oak. This is another example of what not to do. Please use a crosscut sled. I'm cutting a 10 degree angle on two adjacent sides of each corner. It's not ideal, but I'm using my old handheld belt sander, rigged up in a vise to use as a benchtop belt sander. I'm using a 100 grit belt to clean up the handle and shuttles. Time to start mocking this up for assembly. I made the mistake of putting too much glue on these and having to come back later and clean it up. Each 
corner is glued, clamped, and nailed into place. I used some extra pieces from cutting out the shovels to make sure everything lined up. The paper shim was to make sure I didn't clamp things together too tightly. If I did, the shuttles wouldn't be able to move freely. Just testing the fit and alignment of the corners. The overhang will be trimmed flush on the bandsaw. Every edge and corner is getting cleaned up and rounded over on the belt sander. And some handwork with a sanding sponge. Let's see if this is going to work. I think so. I put each shuttle at their center point and marked and drilled where the handle will attach. Using masking tape as a depth guide to make sure I don't drill too far into each shuttle. I use 3 16 inch dowels in each shuttle. I'd say that's pretty successful so far. The handle was trimmed down and we're now going to finish it with some boiled linseed oil. At least for now, I'm just gonna use some quarter 20 nuts on the dowels to hold the handle on. I'm just gonna use a foam brush and some more linseed oil to oil the tracks. Thanks for watching. If you make your own, please be sure to mention me in a picture on Instagram or Twitter. I have links to both below in the description. This thing is pretty hypnotizing. I'm going to use that to my advantage and tell you to please like and subscribe. Thanks again. See you in the next video.